Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an updated overview of Google Books. I've covered this in the past in a bunch of different videos, but I recently saw this blog post from Google's keyword about taking a look back at winter activities from the past. And in this blog post, they linked to a bunch of Google Books, which led me to think about creating a new tutorial on Google Books. So first of all, at the top of this blog post, you'll see that there are links to things like an ice yacht. Well, that goes directly into this Google Book, which you can view and download and search through in its entirety for free. So you can see here's the complete scanned copy of the book. If I want to, I can take a look at it in a two-page view so it looks more like a book. So I'm scrolling left to right and flipping as opposed to scrolling vertically. And we can go through there. Now we can also go here, go to tile view and look at, well, there's the whole book. I'm going to go back to that. Now, one of the things I love about Google Books is you can search within the book itself. So I want to look for the word sale. And that highlighted for me every instance of the word sale that's used in this book. Now I could refine that search even more by being a little bit more specific and saying I don't want to just search for sale, but I want to search for something like sailboat. Right? And then it's going to bring up just every instance of sailboat. Now, if I go to a page, let's click on this page, and I want to share a section of it we have a clipping tool in the bottom right hand corner and we can say i want to share just this section of the book and when i do so i'm then given the option to copy the text or i can copy a link that will take someone directly to an image of that section of the book or i can even embed that section of the book into a blog post if I so choose. Or I can embed it into a web page. If I'm using something like Google Sites, I might embed it directly into a Google Site. But here, I like the option to just copy that, and then I can put that in Google Classroom or any other online LMS that I might be using. Now, if I close out of that, I'm now here just in Google Books itself. And if I want to search for something else in Google Books, like maybe I'm looking for children's winter activities. And now I can go in and refine this search to say I want full view and I want books that were published in the 19th century. And now I have children's winter activities and all these books that mention children and winter activities. Now, of course, if I wanted to, I could do something like this, put winter activities in quotation marks and add children. And we can go and look that way, or I might put the whole thing in quotation marks and see what we get. See if I find any exact matches. And it doesn't find any exact matches, but it does come up with some suggestions, including this one here of the American Primary Teacher, or this here, the American Teacher, Volume 6, page 172, Let's take a look and see what's featured on that page. And there we have it. And we can zoom in. And we can see there's a little part of the lesson plan. Ask the children to enumerate the various articles of diet for both winter and summer. Now again, I can clip that section of the book using that clipping tool, or I can go in and share a direct link to that particular portion of the book 
as well. So that's a short overview of what you can do with the latest version of Google Books. For more tutorials about Google Books, including more features of it, please check out the links in the description down below. And as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.